Welcome back, everyone. I am Brian. You are Chords and Notes Nation. That is Dan Vask, and he will be singing for us Gethsemane. This is from Jesus Christ Superstars, if am I correct? I mean, that's what that says. Um, the reason I ask is because I've never watched that film or play. I think it was a play, and it was made into a film. Uh, that wasn't... <sighs> that wasn't our thing when I was growing up. It was, um, it seemed to be something that was, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I want to say superfluous, but I'm not quite sure that's the right word. It just seemed to be something that took the life of our Lord and Savior maybe a little out of context and glamorized it a little bit. Um, but I can't say that because I've never seen it. But that was, I believe that was, that was the, um, the, the, the mindset, the thought going into, uh, into not seeing that. And, um, I'm just fumbling, folks. I'm fumbling. <laughs> it's been a long day. I've got a lot on my mind. But I needed to come do this. Nana Karen, I saw, I saw, I saw it. I read your your comment and I said, okay, all right. I wasn't going to do a video today. I may do a few now that I'm doing this one. I said, no way, man, I'm not doing it. And it's like, okay, all right, yeah, all right. She wants, you know, it's really nice. I will tell you what, I'm going to take a moment here. You know, every once in a while I get those haters that come in and they, they just, you know, ah, ah, it doesn't sound great, whatever. You should do it differently. It's my channel, right? I'm going to do it the way that I want to do it. You guys know I always do things. I've always done things my way. I don't want to be like everyone else. I just don't. Why bother? Uh, but every once in a while, I'll get those comments. Well, actually, more so than not. Because you know what? Almost all of you guys here on Chords and Notes Nation have been absolutely respectful. Once you understand what I, what's going on and what my vision is for this... You guys have just been phenomenal. And and to hear that somebody wants to know what my thoughts are on something, that makes me happy. It makes me feel it makes me feel valuable. You know? I mean I do this for the reasons that I do it, but you guys enjoy it as well. So I am creating a product for you guys. And it's nice to have that kind of feedback that you guys enjoy and really want to know truly what my thoughts are instead of just the self-indulgent this is my favorite song and I just want to hear him rave about it I may not rave about it about anything or I may I don't know it's just me and I'm gonna tell you and and if you guys like it man that it's so nice number one to get those those positive comments number two the likes the subscriptions and the sharing that helps grow the channel and there are three ways to go above and beyond. And I do need the above and beyond, folks. It's not just for shits and giggles. You know, it's I do want to improve this channel. And I can't do it on my own. I've got enough burdens on, on my plate. And I know you guys do too. But if you can support your favorite reactor, you know, it's, it's the same as in my mind. If you're buying a streaming service that's feeding you garbage, because that's all there is out there. Uh, you know, hey, why not support your favorite reactor instead? Because I will get around to your requests. I will. Anyways, let's do this. I hope you don't mind me taking time to do that. I need a vent. I got nobody here but you guys. Vas Vaskians. My fellow Vaskians. Alright, so I'm not sure. I may have heard this song even though I didn't see the film or the, or the play. I'm sure I probably have heard the song. But I'm going to go into this cold, and you to me, one year. There are many sides to, you. to me, this is going to be an original, and I'll just give you what my thoughts are. How's that? I like the acoustic and the I'm texture. The only one to say. I'm not 
not as sure as when we started.
<laughs> don't open up. Don't, don't. Okay, I'm going to. I have to. Listen, Nana Karen, you want to know exactly what I think. So this is, uh, this was your your request, and I'm I'm going to be speaking to you, and I want the others who are here to listen, and I want you just to sit back and listen with open ears before you get onto the keyboard and have to say what you have to say, okay? Because you can't just... I put up a short video today with, that, with the message of use some understanding before you jump to an emotional conclusion, okay? That's also on my Instagram. Guys, I am on Instagram. You can find me outside of YouTube. Just check the description box below for that. So here's what I wanted to say. First of all, if this is if this is a cover, which it is, and these were the original lyrics, I've got issues. Issues with these lyrics. And the imagery that it was trying to paint for us was not completely according to the biblical account. There was a lot of interpretation and a lot of... Um, the word I'm looking for. Dilution. Okay. I'll explain that in a second. I wanted to get to his performance was absolutely outstanding. Outstanding performance. Just his range that he put himself into that role and he sang it with such emotion and which, with such force and with such belief and power was such an amazing, amazing performance. I really am going to tell you this is just amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. What can I say? Um, just this man has such a gift. God gave him such a gift, and he's using it. He's using it the way he should. So God bless him. All right. So here's what I want to say. I need to lay the foundation first, all right? Because it was said that you were not religious. And a lot of people think about religion, they think about the institutions of religion. The institutions of this world have been corrupted by this world. We will know them by their works. Jesus told us this. Not everybody who comes in my name is of me. Okay, and we are living in that day and age when the things of this world are being accepted by what's supposed to be the body of Christ, the church the believers, the followers of his teachings. There's no two ways about it, folks. Christ did not come here to make unity and happiness and peace and love. Okay? There is sin and enmity against God. And there is righteousness that none of us can attain on our own. That is why he did what he did. Okay? This gets to the heart of the matter. His sacrifice in the eyes of Almighty God was the sacrifice that was needed for all of us to cover our sins. It doesn't give you free reign to, okay, our sins are covered, and I'm just going to intentionally go out and sin. We're, we're all going to screw up. We're all going to sin. That happens. Before, it used to be based on works. Okay, if you go back into the Old Testament, it was... Uh, you, you had to do this, 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 this. I mean, just the amount of laws that were that were put out there. It was almost it was impossible. There were maybe a few that were considered righteous in in the eyes of God. Elijah was taken. Enoch was taken. Um, but that was why the yearly sacrifice had to come in to to, to cover as an offering over 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 the sins of the people. And that's what Jesus became for everyone, everyone who believes in him and accepts him. Now, let's get back to, okay, so, but I do want to say this. So I don't belong to an institution because it's just, it's mucked and mired. You know, Satan is the god of this world and he's twisted and corrupted the minds of men and men have... Taken in, all the institutions have been of this world have been corrupted, including religious institutions. End of story. That's that's it. What Christianity is, 
at its heart is a personal relationship with our Creator through the person of Jesus Christ. Now, who is the person of Jesus Christ? God in the flesh. God had to come down into the flesh and live a flawless life in order to create that sacrifice that covers everyone's sin. So, Jesus is God, part of God, part of the God personage. Okay, are you following me? So this idea here, where Gethsemane, the garden where he was praying to, to the Father, um, and he did have that moment where it was like, man, if, if there be any other way, take this cup from me. But nevertheless, your will be done, not mine. Okay, so that human part of him did experience that fear and trepidation. And that's what they focused on here. But that's not... They took liberty with that song. Okay, and they made it as in, you know, right at the end where he's like, You, you brought me here, I didn't. Really? God is walking in the flesh. He's the word. Okay, he's the he's the word. He is the power of God that made all things, including you and I, set things in motion. Okay? He knew what he was doing. He understood what this was and this this momentary horrible suffering that he was going to go through probably did frighten the 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 human part of him. But fear is not of God. So maybe I shouldn't say there was maybe maybe he 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 felt it, but it didn't it wasn't that. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that. They focused on the human part of Christ, not realizing, not amplifying the God within him. He knew what was going to happen. And he knew spiritually what he needed to do for everyone. He doesn't die. Okay, his the flesh dies for three days. Then the spirit returns to him and he's resurrected. What did he do? What did his spirit do? Stole the keys of sin and death away from the enemy. Made him powerless. Okay? The only power is lies and fear. And those are superficial. He asked me, you wanted to know my thoughts. This is it. So, at the end of it, I look at this and it's like, okay, I, yeah, I get it. Because we're told that he's like, if there's any other way. And in there they said, well, I've tried for three years. You've... I didn't like... I didn't like the lyrics in this song. I just didn't. I loved Dan's performance. Out freaking standing performance. The lyrics? And maybe this is why we didn't watch this when I was growing up. Because it wasn't in line with the biblical account. Like it or leave it, that is my reaction. God bless you guys. Remember, Jesus does love you because that's why he did what he did for you and for me and for everyone. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him shall have eternal life. Your spiritual life. Eternally. It's amazing. Talk to you later. Bye.